Hi guys, <clears throat> Paul over here at Styrene Relics. Hey, I got a card in the mail the other day from Dan the Man. And uh, he says uh, he wishes me a full recovery and get back at it soon. Thanks, Dan. I needed that. And he sent me the psychedelic group build coin. <coughs> And, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> and uh, I haven't quite finished mine up yet. Uh, I don't have a lot to go on it, but I, uh, I do want to say thank you, Dan, for sending that. That does mean a lot to me. Uh, I, I'll get it done here real soon, and I'll, I'll do a video on it. Um, I'm doing pretty good, guys. I, um, I'm, I'm a little sore, <clears throat> and, uh, my, I, to set up right in, in my chair here, it really, really kind of hurts. So I kind of just lay around a lot in bed, but that's only because of the incisions. And, uh, and they're and they're coming along really good. Everybody says I'm I'm doing real good. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. I want to send a thank you out to Rick Zink. He sent me. He wanted to know if I could send me a, a skeleton. I said heck yeah, man. I've been wanting one of those for a little a little bit now. So I got me a skeleton. That's pretty cool. And I love that card, man. Um, I don't think I've sent you one out yet, Rick. So uh, expect one to come pretty soon. Um, when I when I'm when I'm thinking of it, I'll I'll make, mail one out to you. But uh, Rick told me he says he sent me a, a text and he said, "Man, I want to send you a card and a and a skeleton." So I didn't think anything of it, and I give my address. Well, guess what? Next thing I know, he sent me a get well package, too. <laughs> so, Rick, man, you didn't have to do that. Um, so he sent me this kit. I, I, I have this kit a long time ago, but I robbed and robbed and robbed off it so much that I have... I don't have enough to build the kit, so this is cool, man. Now I get to build the kit. So, and then uh, he sent me another one. He sent me the Dan Fink uh, speed wagon, still sealed. So that's pretty cool. I uh, I I know uh, the only person I know that that has one and I'm sure everybody has built it but I haven't seen it but uh Phil over at Horton's Hot Rod Shop he did one not too long ago and kind of did his own take on it and so that's kind of cool so it looked like a pretty cool build uh and then one day this week or last week I uh I went out to a little hardware store in a little town north of me. Uh, Phil was telling me about these guys. They had some model car kits. And I asked him, I said, do they have the Jungle Gym? And he said, yeah. But I was thinking they had the 116th, and I was figuring on it being about $50, $55, something like that. He said, no, they're only 30 bucks." $29. Well, shoot, I'm going to head myself up there and grab one. It was the 125th. But he misunderstood me and I misunderstood him, but still pretty cool, so I got it. Um, this is the one that's got that funky roof line to it, though. But that's all right. I don't care. I'm going to build it anyway. So, Well, guys... I'm all in just doing this. <laughs> That's pretty bad, ain't it? I want to say thanks to Dan. Card means a lot, buddy. Special thanks to Rick Zink. That's just super cool, buddy. Um, 
was not even in the remote was thinking about getting kits. I, I sure wasn't. And both of those are going to get it. Uh, they're going to get built. So, Phil, thanks for keeping me up on the, on the cool stuff that's still out there, man. I'll, uh, I'll get back at it. It'll probably be next week is what I'm thinking, guys. So, we'll talk at you later. Bye.